I'm NASA astronaut Michael Barrett, and you're watching Mission X, Ask the Astronaut. And this week's topic is really important. It's teamwork, how we work together in space. So we have a great question from Maddalena in Italy, and that is, if all of our astronauts come from different nationalities, how do we talk to one another in space? Well, that is a great question, because we have many different countries that come together to make the International Space Station and that supply astronauts to it. And that includes Russia and Canada, many, many European countries, Japan, and of course the United States. Well, interestingly, the space station is what we call a bilingual station. Every crew member who flies has to speak English, and they have to speak Russian. Now that means that people like me have to work in two different languages, but people who come from Germany or France or Italy have to work in three different languages, their native language plus what we speak on space station. But a lot of that helps to bring us together because we have to learn those other languages, we have to spend time in those cultures, eating that food, listening to that music, and talking to one another. So I think that helps to make us a stronger team by speaking one another's language. When we talk to Mission Control Center, we talk in Russian to the Russian Control Center in Moscow. We talk in English to the American Control Center in Houston. And there are many other control centers scattered throughout the world as well. But it's not just between the crew members. So we have to speak different languages to the ground as well. And I think that, again, makes for a stronger team and a lot of friendships. Another great question from Madalena in Italy is, do we know our crewmates before we fly? Well, the good news of that is yes, because we have to train together for a long time, sometimes a couple of years and sometimes even longer, before we fly on the space station together as a crew. So once we've launched, we've already spent so much time together, we're learning how to work together, doing experiments, training on systems, flying together, and sometimes when we go to different countries, we all live together in a small place which means we know each other well, we know our sleeping habits, we cook for each other, we take our meals together, so that by the time we launch, we know each other pretty well. We're not quite brothers and sisters, but we're very good friends. And then once we're up in space, we have that relationship that makes us a good, strong team. So a lot of our questions dealt with food and with languages, and one of the best places to put both of those together is the dinner table. Now every night at the International Space Station, my crew would gather for dinner, and it was a really important time for us. It was the one thing that always brought us together every day, and to share food from other countries was just a real special thing for us. We had food from all of the countries, from Russia, from all the European countries, the US, Canada, and Japan, and we made it a responsibility for one person to bring music and they would bring whatever music they wanted to share either from country western or Japanese or Korean pop you name it everything was there at uh, some point and of course we would tell stories we would tell jokes we would talk about what happened in the day what was happening the next day and uh, I really wish we could invite people from earth to our dinner table because it was just an amazing time to share stories and, and uh, just be good friends together. I'm NASA astronaut Michael Barrett, and if you'd like to ask a question of an astronaut, go to the Mission X website and look for the Ask the Astronaut feature, and we look forward to your questions.